Hello there, welcome to Fahad's tutorial and you know that this class is about uh, Archimedes law mathematical problem or even Pascal's law mathematical problem solutions class. So though I have written that Pascal's law mathematical problem, so this type of questions is very common, especially those who are studying in English version, I mean, basically even cadet college or even English version students, you know that in your physics book, the chapter is a pressure and state of matter. In this chapter, two basic law, actually three laws were discussed, Pascal's law, Archimedes law and Hooke's law. Among them, I already uploaded class on Pascal's law and then later on Archimedes law and from that concept and that understanding, we know that how to uh, uh, visualize things in case of Pascal's law. So if this type of questions is uh, available on a question paper, this class is about for you that how you can think to solve this kind of problem. At first, you know that in Pascal's law, what are the equations that you got? We got f2, f2 by f1 is equal a2 by a1. You know it already in case of force multiplication process, we know that we got more force into the bigger cylinder or bigger piston comparably to the smaller one or smaller piston. So we know according to the force multiplication process and according to the Pascal's law we got the equations F2 by F1 equal A2 by A1 where is A2 the 2 uh, denotes for the bigger one. So the F2 is the exerted force on the bigger cylinder and F1 is the applied force into the smaller cylinder and A2 is the cross-sectional area of the bigger cylinder and A1 is the, the smaller one, the cross-sectional area of the smaller one. So now, we know that A stands for area and here D stands for diameter. But if diameter is given, diameter, as you know that it was supposed to be F1, A1 and it's supposed to be like F2 f2 and a2 but but directly there is no value of areas given only the value of d means diameter is given so what we will do we know that this is a cylinder right this is a cylinder so accordingly into the mathematics in case of understanding the mathematics in cylinder in cylinder we know that the cross-sectional area is pi r square as it's the upper side is circular and that is why you got area on pi r square but we are not counting the volume only the upper surface the cross-sectional area is circular and that is why this is pi r square so if we can say from this part that f2 by f1 is equal pi as a2 is actually the area so we can say pi r2 square divided by pi r1 square so from both sides we can eliminate pi so f2 by f1 is equal to r so right now we can say that again r is the radius so which is actually the diameter over 2 I mean radius is the half of di diameter so diameter and the radius we know it from simple mathematics so we can say that d2 by 2 square by d1 by 2 square so if this is the scenario we can say that f2 by f1 d2 square over 4 by d1 square over 4 now you also can eliminate 4 from both sides so you can say f2 by f1 equal d2 square by d1 square and this is an equation when when in case of mathematics in case of problem solving technique we uh, got the value of d1 instead of a so we need to use the value given instead of what we are thinking so according to this according to this equation if we can think that what is the force will be exerted and when you see this type of questions most often it's given that this is a round shaped ball 
is just placed upon the cylinder and the question is will be this amount of force what is exerted it can lift over the ball so we need to think the question is the question is how much force will be exerted and will it float or sink into the liquid so there are two type of questions number one number one if the question is we can say that number one that can it lift the ball can the force can the force lift the ball number one question and number two question will it float or sink will it float or sink so these two questions can be available and can be uh, the questions in and you, you know that they're in case of creative questions there are four questions in c and d most often you can see this type of questions that will the exerted force uh, can lift over the ball or even will it sink or float into the liquids so right now what you can see that we need to find out the force applied there so we can say that f2 by f1 is equal to a2 by a1 but right now we got the equation d2 square by d1 square so right now we need to find out f2 as because f1 uh, suppose the question is in case of f1 uh, the question is uh, of 10 newton actually and uh, in this case yes the mass of the sphere so if if suppose there are 10 newton is given then what will be the force f2 so what we need to do we need to use it d2 square by d1 square or even we can say it again together times f1 so we see f2 is actually d2 is 200 centimeter so if we use 200 centimeter over 2 centimeter so in both cases in this case we don't need to convert it into meter as because this is the ratio which will be same so what we understand that the diameter of the bigger cylinder is 100 times bigger than the smaller one so it's same so we can say that this is square times f1 means 10 newton if it was given like 2 newton then we put it here 2 newton so if it is 2 newton i will just exchanging the value to make you understand that whatever the data is given if your concept is okay and your calculation is okay maths will be done so f2 is 100 square times 2 so it will be 2 1 2 3 4 newton because 100 square is 1 then 4 0 so actually this is 2 times 10 over 4 newton now the question is the question is the ball is given the radius is 2 cm and the mass is 20 gram the mass is 20 gram if if I say like that this is 20 kilogram 20 kilogram and the radius is 20 cm suppose the radius is 20 cm and the mass of the ball is 20 kilogram now we need to think can it lift this ball now we need to think that the weight of the ball is working downstairs so if this force is higher than the weight of the ball then it can lift i mean i mean the ball is placed into the into the surface of the cross sectional bigger area and then the the force is exerted to the upwards so we need to think the ball is placed here either the weight of the ball is bigger then it will sink down or if the exerted force is bigger than the weight of the ball then it can lift over so now as we know the mass is given so we can think that w is equal mg it means that m is the mass and g is the gravitational acceleration due to gravity right now i need the calculator so it means we have 20 kilogram of weight 
I mean mass and if 20 km is there 9.8 so it will be definitely smaller one so 20 times 9.8 which is only 196 Newton so this is actually 196 Newton which is much smaller than this Newton so we can say the exerted force F2 is greater than the weight of the ball so that is why it can lift over easily this ball even even the ball is 200 kilogram if it is 200 kilogram then we'll got like 200 times 9.8 and here 200 times 9.8 is 1960 even it's higher than this so the 1960 is smaller than this value so definitely if the mass of the ball is 200 kilogram it can lift over through this exerted force because it's much higher than this but the question is so it's done but the question is will it float or sink on that case we need to understand the Archimedes law what is the principle of the sinking and floating of anything depending on what depending on two things depending on depending on um, what I can say depending on the density of water suppose suppose this ball this ball will it sink or float into this liquid if this is the question then how we need to think we need to think that the density of the liquid is given is 800 kilogram per meter cube so we know that the value of or the unit of density is kg per meter cube you know it right now we need to find out the density of the ball so to find it out we know that rho is equal m by v so that means the density of anything is the mass upon velocity so we have mass which is 20 kilogram and then now we need to find out a v and then this r is given 20 centimeter so if r is given 20 centimeter this is 0.2 meter undoubtedly as this is a bulb that means the circular things then we know that the volume of the bulb is 4 by 3 by r cube and from that we can say 4 by 3 3.1416 times 0.2 whole cube and right now we need to use it okay so this is 4 divided by 3 times 3.1416 times 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.2 square and then okay times 0 0.2 so it means okay the volume is 0 0.3 3.5 meter cube so the volume is here and right now I, I know that this is m by v should be the rho of the bulb so m is 20 kilogram and this is 0 0.335 so right now if I say the 20 divided by 0 0.335 which is 59.5 seven zero kilogram per meter cube so that is the density of the bulb so if this ball density is only 59.70 whereas the density of the liquid is 800 kg per meter cube so definitely we can say that the density of liquid is much greater than the density of bulb so the ball will float it will never sink because the density of liquid is higher so according to Archimedes law if the ball will it float or sink depends on the density of the ball and the liquid so the liquid density is higher than the ball so it will definitely float it will never sink if the density will be like 
5970 kilogram only i just removed the decimal number 5970 kilogram per meter cube definitely the density of ball is looks higher than the density of liquid then it will sink so as it is 59.70 it will definitely float so i hope if you see this kind of problems in your question paper especially carrot college student and especially english version students and even o level students you can have these sort of solutions on your books because you know that in your chapter there are some units some pressure and uh, of course pascal's law and archimedes law was discussed so now this is a very simple type of mathematics there are some critical type of mathematics also which is coming on our exam paper all definitely um, will be solving this sort of things in my near future and please this is for you those you are watching my videos and of course uh, i'm really really happy that you are with me and i'm right i'm just feeling blessed that you are having your um, i'm having your recommendations from my videos and of course i will try my level best to adjust these recommendations in my next level videos so take care stay well stay blessed bye